Hey guys, Southwest Urban Homestead. As an urban homesteader, I seek systems that serve multiple purposes to maximize the use of my available space. Rabbits are quite good in this regard as they take up little space. They provide meat, sometimes company and entertainment, and manure. A single rabbit can produce several cubic yards of manure a year. Some sources even claim that a doe and her offspring can produce in excess of one ton of manure per year. Rabbit manure has an average NPK of 2.4, 1.4, and 0 0.60. It also contains trace elements such as calcium and sulfur, which are important to healthy soil. It also improves the soil structure by adding organic matter and beneficial micronutrients. This is the manure from nine rabbits over a two week period. You can see it almost fills this wheelbarrow. In addition, there's gonna be hay and bits of feed that didn't get eaten. That stuff you don't have to worry about, it'll break down and just add organic matter into your soil. There's also bits of hair in there. Again, you don't have to worry about that. That stuff will break down as well. I don't know how well it can be seen, but you can, you can see the full pellets here, and then you see stuff up here that's really broken down. If you're noticing a lot of flies in your rabbitry, and you're noticing a lot of manure like that, it's because you're letting your manure sit in the rabbitry too long and the flies are eating it and that's where all the flies are coming from. So you just need to clean out your rabbitry more often. Rabbit manure is considered a cold manure. The only difference between a hot and a cold manure is how readily available the nitrogen is. As a cold manure, it can be applied directly in the garden without being composted and will not burn plants because the nitrogen is not readily available. I personally do not use directly in the garden for concerns with risks of pathogen contamination in vegetable crops. Any manure has the potential to carry disease pathogens, and because of that concern, I choose to compost my manure first. I simply add it to my compost pile and add an equal amount of straw or cardboard to the pile. It gets watered three times a week and turned every Sunday. Additionally, I add any extra kitchen waste the worms can't handle. You can also compost it with worms. I haven't had a whole lot of luck when it comes to vermicomposting rabbit manure, but I have figured a way that works best for me. Most of my rabbit's manure gets soaked in their urine. The urine is high in ammonia and salts, two of the compost worm's worst enemies. Additionally, it heats up in large quantities and is difficult to keep moist enough for the worms to process. I have gotten around this by pre-composting the manure. This allows the ammonia to dissolve, the salts to wash out, and the heat begins the decomposition process, making it easier for the worms to begin breaking it down. And there is an added benefit of a slightly higher moisture content. Rabbit manure is a wonderful source of nutrients and organic matter for your garden. There really is no right or wrong way to use it. Use it however you wish. If you apply it directly to the garden, it acts as a time-release fertilizer, breaking down slowly over time, slowly releasing the nutrients. Or you can do like I do, throw it in your compost pile and allow it to completely break down before you use it in the garden. Alright YouTube, that's all I have for today. Figured I'd leave you with the parting shot of the kits. Well, they're starting to jump out of the nesting box, and their eyes are open. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Have a good one.